Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video and today we're going over absolutely everything that has happened today including new portals, uh, the, the increase in the crack, how big it's gotten and what it looks like. And then on top of that, almost more importantly, we are continuing the video from earlier today. So if you missed the video earlier today, you may want to pause this video right now and go check it out. You don't have to, but I basically go over this very detailed theory uh, or explanation. It's not really a theory. It's more of like, I know what's going down and we're, we're trying to debate if it's right or wrong, but it goes over all the new season five locations. So I'm going to be continuing on that video today. This is not the official part two though. That video, I'm going to be talking about um, Season 5 Battle Pass skins, things like that. Um, that's going to be tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. or 9 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, 9 a.m. Eastern. That's when it'll be up. Uh, because there's so much proof and follow-up that I have to talk about from yesterday's or this morning's video. Uh, so we're going to do that right now. All right, let's do it. So first off, the first bit, well, let, let's start with the, uh, we're going to start off with the updates on the map today. So first off. The crack has formed in the sky and it is, uh, well, obviously it's formed, but it is continuing to grow. We went over that yesterday and this is where we are currently at. A new crack had started yesterday and now that crack itself is starting to expand. So it's starting to look really, really crazy, man. And I think um, debating like based on where these things are going to be over top of, there might be uh, some of the storyline we're able to get from these cracks. Uh, but at this point... There's two of them, they're connected, and it's starting to just get bigger and bigger, man. It's, it's awesome what they're doing. I love it. Now, going to the portals, the rifts, uh, the tomato heads. So it, it, just to quickly update you, we've had one at uh, Lonely Lodge, the motel, and, uh, and then, of course, Tomato Town. And now Tomato Town has been consumed, or at least the tomato head on Tomato Town has been consumed, and there's been ceremonies for it. People are sad. They're like, no, because some people just worship this thing, right? It cracks me up seeing some Reddit posts on this. But just about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago, at the time of this recording, there has now been a new rift that has opened up at the NOM sign in Retail Row. So uh, Retail Row seems to be RIP because uh, we know these wormholes, these portals are starting to consume things. But thus far, each one has only consumed one thing. Like the one at Lonely Lodge consumed the sign. The one at the motel consumed the sign. The Tomato Town consumed the mascot, the head. And now Noms, I assume the Noms sign is going to disappear tomorrow. So we're kind of following a trend. We haven't seen more than one thing being consumed yet at, at, at one place. Uh, so again, I will keep you up to date uh, on all things Fortnite, including theories, but including map changes. And right now is a good time to mention, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. We've had over, I think, 14, 15,000 new subscribers in the last three days. That's a mind-blowing number for me, and I just want to say thank you so much. You want to go that extra mile, make sure to turn those notifications on. And right now, at any point in the video, including now, leave a comment. You guys have been commenting and tweeting at me like never before with theories, with opinions, and it just, it's helping. You'll see in today's video, I'm going to be using a lot of your guys' comments because it just helps me explain the story and helps me realize things that I wouldn't have realized without you. So leave a comment right now or at any point, and while you're down there, touch that like button for me, especially if you're excited uh, for that part two, part three-ish video now. I guess it is uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. All right. Now that I've updated you on the map stuff, it's time to take a look at some of the proof. So yesterday we talked about locations, new locations coming, and those locations include Jurassic Jungle, uh, Pirate Point, or something like that. I, I don't have the names up. I'm just trying to remember. Captive Castle, and of course Wild West. I forgot Wild West, man. Uh, uh, and I think there might have been one more, but these are the important ones we can focus on today. So again, full-on depth ex explanation in that video, but for this one... Playground LTM like you guys know that the, the detailed thing. We don't know if it's true or not I'm very on the edge like is this guy know what he's talking about someone just got sued for leaking information Why would this guy risk it? But uh, Fortnite released a playground LTM uh, Trailer today after this post was made keep that in mind. That's very important. We're gonna watch that trailer right now So here it is for you
Okay, now did anyone realize what happened in there? Obviously, very cool trailer gets you hyped up for playground mode. Um, but if we, if you look closely, there was three things that were in this. Uh, three kind of builds that they made themselves. There was a castle. There was a pyramid with a sphinx right beside the pyramid. And then there was a, a Wild West location for that movie part. Again, rewind the video and rewatch if you want to go see those things. But all three of those things relate exactly to the uh, the detailed explanation that this Reddit user gave us uh, in the video from earlier today. And again, this Fortnite Playground trailer, I believe, came out afterwards. I just went back and checked because I wanted to make sure. I And correct me if I'm wrong. This Playground trailer was released today, as it seems to me. So, which proves that this guy could not have known which was in the what was in the Playground trailer. And uh, and if it's all the same, like come on, that really helps me uh, helps me believe this guy. All right, I'm gonna give another version of proof here, thanks to a comment on the last video today from uh, Joby Steinweh. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. So the skins would also hint towards the new locations. Those dinosaur skins last week with the pterodactyl glider would support that location. The detectives could support the Wild West location. Um, I don't know, police, detectives, sheriff, Wild West movies. And then the rumors of the Red Knight coming back uh, could support that castle area at Lucky Landing. There's no skin yet for an Egyptian location that I can, can recall. Let me know if there is. And I'll click quickly say possibly the Battle Hound. Is that an Egyptian themed skin? And uh, again, if this is all true, like, it's a good point. It's a very good point. And it, it helps add to, again, I'm just providing you guys the proof and providing myself the proof too. And then you can make the decision whether you think uh, the massive post about all these new locations is accurate or not. So thank you for the comment, man. I really appreciate that. Um, I wanted to throw this thing in here quickly. A lot of you guys are saying, like, what if they made an Anubis skin? Is it Anubis? I, I, I don't really know what it is, but an Egyptian themed skin. And, like, so many comments on it. Like, you want it, you want it. I actually saw a uh, Fortnite Reddit post today. It's it's a concept. This is not any news or anything in the game, but I thought it was super cool. Uh, so here's a picture of it. How awesome is that skin, man? Like, I saw your guys' comments. I'm like, okay, what is this? What is this? And I saw a concept for it. I'm like, oh, my God. That would look good in Fortnite. So totally unrelated, but I, I thought it looked cool. So I thought I'd throw it in there. Now, it wouldn't be fair if I provided all this proof for the theory uh, and not against, or for the explanation and not against the explanation. So this one, uh, there's a comment from McCoy Williams. The Reddit post did not say anything about Tomato Town. And that's totally true. And now with the new information that Retail Row is apparently going to be taken out, uh, if that's what these portals are indicating, these wormholes are indicating, uh, there was no mention of Retail Row either. So that d does that disprove the explanation a little bit? Possibly. Do we really know if the wormholes are taking absolutely everything? We don't, but we assume that, right? But again, at this point, each wormhole has only taken one thing from each location. And again, that just might be... Uh, for simplicity effects or for epic so they don't have to just start taking out buildings and stuff every single day That could be a little uh, they got other things to worry about right now So it could just be a symbolizing thing and then they actually are going to uh, Take these areas away. That's more of the side. I'm on I think these wormholes are going to take away these locations and these locations are going to be replaced through the crack leaking in uh, Stuff from new dimensions. That's still my theory. It has been my theory for days now And I think a lot of you guys agree uh, give or take, you know, you you might have a little bit different of opinion, but I thought I would post that part out. And ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I got for you today on, on, on this. That, that's all the, the proof. I think the, the playground trailer is the biggest thing. I, <clears throat> I literally had 50 to 100 tweets coming at me when I woke up this morning telling me about this playground trailer and how it related to this thing perfectly. And again, I wouldn't think it was, it, I would almost say it would disprove the theory or the explanation. Why, why do I keep saying theory? Explanation theory, whatever it is. I would almost say it would disprove it if the playground trailer came out before the, uh, the Reddit post came out, but the Reddit post came out uh, days ago, like, like I think July 1st or the day before. So uh, unless he totally randomly guessed with this super, super detailed explanation of season five and the locations in season five, this explanation is starting to become more and more believable. I was 50-50 yesterday, uh, or I should say this morning. I filmed it last night, and I'd say I'm about 70-30 now. Maybe 65-35. I'm still very skeptical, but again, 
Let's let's have a conversation about it, everybody. Comment section down below. What the heck do you think? Let me know. And uh, while you're down there, before you head out, touch that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And again, if you are new around here, join the rushers by subscribing. I'd love to have you turn those notifications on. Other than that, have a great day. Talk soon. Take care. Goodbye.